lionfish are an invasive species that actually came here from the Indo-Pacific, so the other side of the world. Um, there is a lot of theories as to how they actually got introduced here, but the, the main theory is that they look really good in aquariums and were likely washed out due to a storm or were introduced by people who didn't want to take care of them anymore. So there were likely a number of different introduction events that caused lionfish to be where they are today. Um, the first lionfish detected in the wild over here was in 1985, but we really didn't start to see an uptick until the mid 2000s um, on the eastern seaboard and then the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. So the reason why they're so invasive is there's the native species here don't really recognize them as something to eat. They have a bunch of venomous spines, so they're a little spicy if you try and eat them. Um, in addition to that, they have uh, really high egg production and they can do it year round. So 12 months out of the year, they can be producing eggs, whereas our native species are only doing it every three or four months out of the year. Um, they also grow extremely fast. So in the first year of life, they can actually grow about 10 inches. So they get to a, a size that's pretty unmanageable to be eaten in, in a very short amount of time. Um, and they also have a generalistic diet. So they really eat anything that fits in their mouth. I um, mean, there's been more than 160 different species of, of fish that have been dug out of their stomachs in a lot of different studies. And it, it really does prove that they don't care. As long as it's, it's swimming in front of their face and it's an easy meal, they're gonna eat it. So I, I say all these really uh, impressive numbers about why they're so invasive, but the fact of the matter is they haven't caused the complete collapse of our fisheries. Early on when they first showed up, we were expecting or maybe um, wondering if our fisheries were just gonna collapse. And we're 11 years now since they first showed up here in the Gulf and we still have our red snapper, we still have our triggerfish, but they're absolutely still having an impact on a lot of the small species that we have on our reefs. Those are the, those are the species that help keep the reefs clean. Those are the species that the red snapper and the grouper like to eat. We pushed the bad narrative for so long but there's slowly information coming out that, okay, well, they aren't killing everything and nature's finding a way to kind of even things out.